everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing and I am in the middle of getting all my gear together I'm gonna head over to the Texas City Dyke in the morning so I am doing this intro real quick on my phone and then I'm gonna flip it around and talk to you about the Texas City Dyke and what it has to offer the type of fishing we're gonna be doing in the morning we're gonna be doing a little bit of wade fishing and if you're not familiar with the Texas City Dyke I'm gonna run you through just real quick talk to you about that and also give you a hopefully give you a good fishing report but also give you a fishing report because the holiday weekend is right here right on its cuff so hopefully I can get all this edited and to you but thanks for coming back if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel and let me turn this around and I'm gonna get on my PC all right so we're gonna be fishing the Texas City Dyke the Texas City Dyke is about it's a little over five miles you can fish on both sides there's a rock side and there's also a a beach down here at the end where you can come and fish but we're going to be fishing this area over here known as mosquito island you can actually fish both sides on the mouth of the dike you can wade fish and kayak fish but yes we're going to be fishing this side you have to be very careful you can also wade fish this other side but you have to be very careful to not step off into any of the deep holes or drop-offs one of the reasons why we are going to be fishing this area is we have a strong south wind so this north side of the edge is going to be relatively protective from the strong winds now looking at this depth chart you can see what I mean about the drop-offs now here's the dike and here's that island that I'm going to be fishing off of but you can see the area right here how it just completely and totally drops off and this doesn't necessarily mean that this is the actual depth because the water levels do rise and fall but when those big ships come through the channel they will suck the water out and it can push you and pull you into some of these deeper holes if you are along the edges so just be very careful fishing and weight fish the dike like i said i've known several people who have lost their lives out here so please just be careful the water is on. yeah got one that little small guy uh, i might be keep Nope, he's way small. He just looked big in the water. Yep. Came off in the net. <clears throat> Little schoolies. That's nice. Throw to Eric. Let him keep it. There we go. See if we can get another one out there. Little schoolies. Little guy. <laughs> Little sand trout. That's probably what's taking your bait. Yeah. Right there. I know, right? It's a wall hanger right here. Anybody need any bait? <laughs> but you know when the you know when the small fish are thick is when you can hold your cork right next to you with just the head and they smashing it. They hitting it right there. You have to worry about taking off your your extra mints. Mm -hmm. Smell it again. Look, another one. Slick just popped up. Yeah. See, they cleaned it off for me. All right, so we have a Phillips Tackle Company Woody Court. A couple of feet of fluorocarbon line. I think it's about number 10 size treble hook. Some live shrimp out here. I smell that one good. I smell that one good. We kept having slicks pop up behind us, far, and though, you could man, smell that speckled trout scent, that watermelon scent. 
so we kept turning around to cast behind us and of course we continue to cast in front of us as well so we were surrounded by a nursery Another one. Yeah. Another little red. That's pretty one then. Yeah. All right. And it's fast. It's fast like they matching on both sides. You see that? Look how pretty that red is. Look at the other side. It's like they match. Almost. Look like almost identical, huh? That's crazy. That is crazy. And then that little slick again. And that little slick again. Another little red. No little slicks popping up. Slick rigging it. Slick rigging it. We arrived to the Texas City Dyke before sunrise and fished around four hours. We used live shrimp and only caught some small fish. Reds, specks, croakers, and some sand trout. There was around 15 other people out here and we only saw a few slot specks being caught. We packed it up to head to Galveston Bay, but before we did, we checked out the Tackle Time leaderboard. And what do you know? A friend of the channels is up there, Captain Cody Dunn. Don't forget, it's the holiday weekend, and on holiday weekends, the dike charges $20. Yeah, I know. Yikes. Well, let's head over the causeway and do a little more fishing. What the hell is going on? Got a red. I saw that tail. This is this is about to say this is what I've been catching all day. Yeah, well, see. All day. Yeah. I didn't stop. Got him. Got another one. Found the school. Playing back here catching everything. Found the school. Little school of reds. I'm gonna have to change my hook. That the big the big thing. Yeah. I'm gonna have to change my hook. They keep swallowing it. I don't want to hurt any of them. Yeah. Yep. I see this. Nursery day. Oh, 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 no, taking drag. Uh oh. What? Taking drag. Big hearted. Big hearted. It might be a black room. Oh, yeah, it really is, huh? Oh, little red. A nursery. Or is it big whiting? Whiting? Red, right? I thought I saw a blue tail. Hey, oh, there you go. That's a oh my gosh, Woo! that's a croaker. Ooh, that's a croaker. Pick it up. Let me, let me croaker there, boys. Let me see that. Hold that. That's that's dinner right there. Look at that. That's dinner right there. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Get her done. There we go. I found the little reds. GoPro on. I already had it on. Come on, GoPro on. I found the little reds. Come on. Now. Come on. Man, you telling me, man? School's in session. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Get off. <laughs> Come on. I'm about to go down there and revive me. Thank you, Cody. I'm going down to revive you. That little red's upside down. Come on. There you go. Who don't love you? Who don't love you? Get him? Yeah. Got a screamer? Maybe. Stingray. Yep. Make you want to wait, fish. What? He came up. You almost hit Cody in the back with a red. <laughs> That'd have been alright. I know my fish. Yes, sir. I know how they all fight, boys. Want to go out of the net? That's a cow? No, it ain't a cow. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Touch damn sideways. wind. Turn sideways. Turn sideways. How <laughs> damn are you? <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for me. You know, I came out today, hit the Texas City Dyke. Wasn't really too much going on over there. Threw some live shrimp. Came over to my friend's property. And I didn't catch too much over here either. Just a bunch of small stuff. Him did a little quick weight sesh for about an hour, hour and a half. Trying to see if I could find a flounder. And there was nothing to be found. I think I might have spooked, scared one or two. But that's pretty much it, you know. I hope everybody has a good weekend, a safe holiday weekend. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Hopefully next time you catch me, hooking up. Thanks.